I'm Maida Vaughan and my real name is Molly Clack. I am from Kent and I now live in Brighton and I've been here for the past four years, I believe. I am isolating in Brighton. I live in a studio flat, which is not the worst possible outcome, obviously, but it's probably up there. Um, and this morning I was, it's very, um, like particular incident it doesn't happen every day um this morning i had a pigeon fly in to the flat with me and um during that time the fire alarm went off as well so it was chaos actually that's probably the the well i've had a great day other than that but it's not usually that intense living in a studio flat in lockdown but um and it's not just one room we've got three three rooms we're missing a room basically um, and I live with my partner so it's fine we're quite nice to each other usually so it's been there's been like an array of activities going on over here and and also an array of like motivation so at the start I was passing the time by um I was doing loads of reading doing lots of exercise um I wasn't allowing myself really to watch much TV or go on my phone. I felt like I had to be productive the whole time. Um, and then I had a period in the middle called my depression session where I closed all the blinds and said goodbye to the world and um, watched about 800 films um, and then realised I needed a middle ground, which was a beautiful revelation, if anything. So, um, yeah, I've been doing a bit of both, trash TV and, you know fixing the brain lots of banana bread baking a little bit of drinking quite a lot of drinking um ssx tricky making music um i did a live stream i haven't been writing music as much as i thought i would be brushing up my keyboard skills um i'm i'm newly motivated to write so i think i'm going to be writing um over the next couple of weeks however um, my EP just came out, so I think I've been focusing on promotion, wanky wanky self promotion, as I like to call it. I've been smoking, and I don't usually smoke. <laughs> Productive. Um, new hobbies. Yeah, I actually, um, I actually have started doing proper yoga. I've only done like three or four sessions because it makes me feel sick because it's so painful. But beforehand, I thought I was doing yoga, and really, I was just sort of stretching a little bit um but yoga with adrian she's really great and um she pushes you and she does the moves annoyingly easily but she's she's there she's on board and she always gives me options to um yeah take it at my own pace so thanks adrian you're a good gal um, my family and my friends gigs both sides of the gig as well i miss standing in the audience with a lovely plastic cup of, of cider that that's really something I miss um being outside of Brighton I love living in Brighton can't complain at all um but I also love other places so um yeah I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be in Spain right now so can you miss something you never heard um the gym I do miss the gym is that sad it's not as sad as people that are missing like KFC and McDonald's sorry to out you guys but the level of passion people seem to have for shit food well get some gigs lined up get some gigs lined up practice for the gigs um go back to work I actually do miss my workplace big up Leon uh go just kiss my friends all over their faces no that's that's irres that's irresponsible <laughs> maybe i shouldn't do that straight away but i want to give my nanny a cuddle um i want to go and just enjoy freedom i've been sort of walking around when i when i'm having my daily walks or runs or whatever i'm like i can feel myself being pretty hippy dippy and taken in the air so i think like i want to go to some really nice grassy delicious places but tomorrow we are allowed to drive to um scenic spots so i think we'll probably head to the devil's dyke over the weekend and eat some grass 
Not really, but... Um, don't be so hard on yourself. You don't need to be productive all the time, but also get up. You know, there's, there's, a, there's a balance. Don't stay in bed until two o'clock in the afternoon. It will make you feel worse. Um, eat shit food if you want to eat shit food, but don't eat it all the time. I just, I really think, but like anyone could tell me this when I'm wanting to fucking binge or um, or the opposite. If I'm feeling really intensely motivated, uh, someone's saying to me, you know, ba balance, balance is good, would piss me off, I think. But it truly is the key. I just went on a lovely run this morning, 10K run, might I add. Um, and like my first ever 10k and um, I got back and I haven't been eating carbs and I had an egg, egg and cress sandwich and I loved it I loved every bite and I don't regret it so balance but I won't be cooking a banana bread today because I eat them all in one. Oh, and watch Killing Eve and I've got loads of other fucking fabulous I've, I like um, I'm a filmy I'm a massive filmy so if you want any and podcasts I, I can recommend some great entertainment and music. Um, I've just discovered Bat for Lashes, Lost Girls album, amazing. Um, Rita Sawayama just um, discovered as well. I think it's Rita or is it Rena? She's amazing. It's like this incredible pop um, metal genre blend. So yeah, listen to music. Listen to my EP, Face Like Thunder, out everywhere now. Um, we, um, me and my partner were supposed to be, yeah, we were supposed to, not to make it such a um, first world problem, but we were supposed to be going to Delnode, we were supposed to be going to Glastonbury, um, and we were so excited, especially to see System of Down, who I've seen already, but he hasn't, so it's very sad. Um, so don't allow yourself to grieve for the gigs that you've missed, because I've done that before when, when I just haven't been able to afford it, but you can, you can, you can afford it. Or like, you know, I just haven't booked it off work in time or whatever. Don't, once we're out of this situation where your choices are so restricted, don't allow yourself to miss something that you might never have the opportunity to do again. Um, I'll never miss a gig that I, that, you know, that I really want to go to again. It's this bloody thing. Um, I, and we were meant to be going on two holidays. Like, it's made me want to travel. I never wanted to travel much up until now I've always been quite happy with my sort of yeah going to Greece once a year but it's given me a little bit of an itch um and just like I say family friends gigs kindness um yeah I'm very tactile so I miss I miss I miss all the just simple reaching out for someone and <laughs> if you do that at the moment you are legal come here come to me um so yeah there's lots that i've taken for granted in the past that i won't do again being able to hop on the train to london and make music like yeah i missed lots and lots of things so thank you for listening to my rambling i'm maida vaughan m-a-i-d-a -A space v-o-r-n i'm in capitals on facebook maybe on Instagram, I don't think so. Um, but I'm on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter as of recently. Um, I'm on Spotify and the rest of them. And yeah, iTunes, Deezer, I'm sure I'm probably on Deezer. Um, my EP is called Face Like Thunder. It's a bit of a, um, bit of a hot mess. Um, electronic -y, poppy, cheeky, dark, spacey, uh, theatrical. I'm a massive Kate Bush fan. I take inspiration from Gwen Stefani, Scissor Sisters, Tori Amos. Um, yeah, I got a really great Kate Bush, Lena Lovitch um, blend comparison from Melita at BBC Introducing, which I loved. So I'm taking that and walking with it. Um, yeah, so please look me up, stream my shit, have a wonderful life if we never speak again. Um, and yeah, good luck out there, guys. Take care of each other.